Welcome back once again to this instructional video series on reason. We're going to continue with our discussion of the sequencing window. And for this one, I'm going to go up to window and I'm going to detach the sequencer window again. Okay, so previously, um, in the last two lessons, we looked over inputting um, notes into the combinator and into Redrum manually. And we looked at quantizing or snapping to the grid. And another thing here too is I wanted to point out that um, the grid can be adjusted in half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, or adjusted to the bar. And uh, I'm not sure if I explained that last time. So let's take a look at how this works maybe with some other instruments. We're going to go and ex start exploring the Dr. Rex. Let's see what the Dr. Rex looks like. The Dr. Rex is a loop player. And so it, it takes a sample and repeats it over and over again. And when you're looking at the Dr. Rex and you're, what you're doing is you're looking at an actual waveform. And you're looking at the way the waveform has been split up. And the reason why the um, waveform is split up is this is a method that was developed for enabling us to speed up or slow down sounds or samples without adjusting the pitch. And so it's kind of a it's kind of a trick, and I'll kind of go into it in a little more detail. But imagine um, a record player, a vinyl record, or a tape, an actual you know magnetic tape. And imagine what happens when you either speed a record up, or a tape up, or slow it down. What happens is the pitch either rises or falls.